and you as a mentee. We're going to talk about the role of a mentor and what your role is when you have a mentor. We call you a mentee. That's you. The first question I would ask you is, do you already have a mentor? Well, if you're not sure, think about, is there someone that you go to that's an experienced and trusted advisor when you have questions or concerns? It doesn't have to be one person. You might have multiple people that you go to. That's great. I know through my career, I've had many different mentors. I had one mentor at the start of my career who really helped me get going. I had another mentor further on in my career. And at the end of my career, when I was a project manager, my mentor was my boss. But the mentor can be a close friend, a trusted advisor, Perhaps even a parent can be a mentor at certain points in our lives. Well, you might be asking, why do I need to have a mentor? This is an interesting study that was done in 2013. They interviewed CEOs across North America, and 80% of them had received some form of mentorship. Those that are in the startup businesses, so entrepreneurs, 93% of them said that mentorship is necessary for success, that they had to have somebody in order to be successful. So those are some pretty startling statistics. If you're not convinced yet, let's walk through a few reasons why it's really important for you to have a mentor. First of all, they certainly have a been there, done that mentality, and they're happy to share their experiences with you their pitfalls or, or problems that they've had, and also some tips and tricks so they might help you avoid some things. They are definitely an unbiased third party. So although a parent may have been a mentor in your life, it's important as you move into your professional career that you choose someone who is somewhat unbiased. So I say, not your mom. They're good at giving you direct input. You feel comfortable asking them for advice. And they give you what I would call straight talk. So they're going to tell you the truth in all situations. The other thing is we've talked already about networking. Well, a mentor has a huge network that you don't. They're able to connect you to their network and they can help ease access and build some bridges for you. So that's a fantastic way to help you grow your professional network is through a mentor. A few more reasons. They can introduce you to a career path or potentially a business opportunity that you may not even have thought of. Again, they're that unbiased third party. So they see you in a different light and they may suggest things to you that you've never thought of before. They will definitely help you avoid some mistakes. Again, back to my point about been there, done that. Why should you have to go through every career pitfall and mistake? They will help you avoid some of those landmines. They should and do push you to learn. I know one of my first mentors was constantly asking me, what are you reading? Every time I talked to him, he would, the first question he'd say is, what have you read lately? What he was meaning was, I have to keep focusing on myself to improve my knowledge in certain areas. And he would push me to read all the time, suggesting reading materials, pointing things out, making sure that I wasn't just focused on work, that I was making, that I was also pushing myself to learn in different areas. So they should be pushing you to learn. No reasons why you should have a mentor. They represent your goals. It's really important that we can look at someone who acts to us as an inspiration. And again, we can have many different mentors. We could have a couple of mentors at the same time that represent different goals, financial goals, career goals, spiritual goals, whatever our goals are, a mentor helps act as an inspiration for us. They also understand our struggle. They understand the doubts that we might be having about ourselves, the challenges that we're facing, and even a lot of the sacrifices, again, emotionally, financially, spiritually, that we're making to get where we want to be. And they share our core values. If someone accepts you as a mentee, they see a little bit of themselves in you. And that's a great thing. Again, when they see themselves in you, 
They represent also for you an inspiration for you to have, and they're going to help you avoid some pitfalls and mistakes. The last but never least thing is, it is the best free advice you'll ever get. Where else can we go for free, free advice? A mentor wants to see you succeed. So everything they're going to be asking you to do, suggesting for you, is going to be somewhere that's going to get you along your path to success. Here's some questions that you should feel free to ask your mentor, and I call these the four S categories. The first thing is, you should ask them to tell you stories. Ask them to share their own experiences with you. For instance, things like, have you ever had a setback? How did you handle it? Five years ago, did you envision your career as it is today? And what management or leadership skills were the hardest for you to develop? Mentors love to be asked questions like this, open-ended, where they can share their stories. So listen carefully when they tell them to you. Those, those stories have kernels of, uh, that you can take with you that are going to help you on your own career journey. I call them little breadcrumbs. The second S is situations. Outline what you are facing specifically and ask them for advice. For instance, let's say you're started in your career and you have a boss that you don't get along with or who's micromanaging you. A great person to go talk to is your mentor. Ask them, how can I let my boss know that I don't want to be micromanaged, for instance? Or how do I deal with a boss that I don't really get along with? Other things along your career you might ask them is, my performance review is coming up. What kinds of things should I be prepared for? The other thing is if you hit challenges in the workplace where, I know I was told this before, my boss says I need to be more strategic. What does that even mean? So those kinds of things you might not feel comfortable saying to your specific boss, hey, what are you talking about? But going to a mentor and saying, I've been given this advice from my boss and I don't really know what direction to go in. A mentor is going to be, again, that great unbiased third party that's going to help point you in the right direction. The third S is self-awareness. We've talked a lot about your brand already this semester. This is another person to talk to about your brand. Ask them how they see you. For instance, how would they describe you if you're not in a room? Does what they say match up with what you want your brand to be? I also have asked my mentors many times, what are some blind spots, some things that I'm not seeing that perhaps I should be working on? Again, being unbiased, not your mom, they're going to be able to tell you about some areas that you might be working on. Hint, hint, my mentor that kept telling me to read wasn't always, I wasn't reading business material. He was having me focus on other types of areas, my blind spots that I needed to be working on. A great question is, how am I viewed by leadership? So if your mentor is a boss, like my, one of mine was at one point in my career, I was able to ask him, how do other leaders within the company view me? And is it how I want to be viewed? And last but not least, things like, do I come across as a strategic thinker, a critical thinker, good at time management? Again, all these things, when we think about your brand, about how you want to be perceived, ask them, do I come across in those ways? Or are those some blind spots I need to be working on? Last but not least, the final S I would say to ask them is skill building. They can help you build up your skills. So how can I become a more assertive negotiator, for instance? Or how can I become a more assertive thinker? How can I ask for a raise or a promotion? How can I become better at managing people who do not report to me? Where do you feel that your skills are lacking? Ask your mentor for some advice on how to help you build up those skills. Again, they are happy to help. There's a few questions to never ask a mentor, and I would feel remiss if I didn't talk about these a little bit as well. Never ask them for a step-by-step -step roadmap for your career. They're not you, and they're not going to guide you in a step-by-step -step fashion. The advice they're going to give you is broader, but you have to help fill in the blanks. So where do you specifically want to go? Let them know that and they can give you some broad ideas, but they're not going to give you a specific roadmap. 
never ask them to invest money in your business or to offer you a loan to get started, unless of course they offer. But you don't want to go to your mentor for money, basically, because that sort of muddies the relationship that you have. Your mentor is someone who's there to help and facilitate and help guide you, but they're not your bank. They're not there to lend you money. Along with that, don't ask your mentor to become a play, paying client or customer of yours. Again, that starts to mix the whole mentorship and business relationship. And of course, don't ask them for any trade secrets. If there's anything that they can't reveal, they'll let you know. Don't press any harder for any secrets that they cannot reveal to you. So what about you? What does a great mentee do? There's a few things that you need to do to be a great mentee for your mentor. The first thing is take action. They're going to advise you to do things like my mentor kept telling me to read and it was my job to do that reading. So they're there to provide guidance to you and you need to take that guidance, take action. The other thing is don't be afraid to disagree. Mentors aren't looking for yes people. They want to hear what you think and don't be afraid to respectfully disagree with them if they put you in a direction that you don't think you want to go. You certainly have to be open to feedback, positive and unfortunately negative. Again, they're a great sounding board for you, but when they provide negative feedback or things you need to work on, you have to be open to that. The fourth thing is be very clear on your needs. Sometimes students say to me, do I have to be really specific and ask someone formally to be my mentor? No, you don't. But you certainly can, and when you do ask them to be a mentor, be clear on what it is you want them to mentor you on. So for instance, if someone approaches me and says, I need mentorship on my career journey, great. So I would ask them, what kinds of things do you need help with? Make sure you have an idea of what it is you need help with, whether that is your blind spots, whether it is situations that you're encountering in the workplace and you need help with, be very clear in your needs. The other thing is respect your mentor. And what I mean by that is respect their time. They're busy people. Typically, they're people within the industry that you want to work in or, or busy friends, maybe in a side industry. You want to respect their time. So the time that they're giving you to answer emails, take your phone calls, meet you for a cup of coffee, you want to respect that time and be organized in what it is you want to talk about when you speak to them. And last but not least, be committed. This is a two-way relationship, but you are the impetus to start this relationship. So you have to be committed to follow through. When they give you direction, when they ask you to call them back, be committed to do so. That keeps the relationship going. Again, you don't have to have the same mentor your whole life. You may have one mentor now, but at some point you outgrow that mentor. And again, that's a good thing. You may have multiple members for different areas of your life. And you don't have to formally roll out a red carpet and ask someone to be your mentor. But you can use someone as a mentor, again, as long as they know what specifically you're looking for from that relationship. I hope that helps.